What's going on guys? Today we are back and today we are doing a solid axle swap on Mike's 1990 Toyota pickup. So some of you guys who have been around the channel for a while will know that this is not the first time this truck has made an appearance. In fact, I got a whole build video on this truck called the Simple Toyota Pickup Build, I think, where I put this trail gear bumper on it, a flat deck on it, move the tires over, do the fuel system, and I think that's about it. Obviously, it's not staying the Simple Build much longer. So just like I did with my truck originally, Mike got the front hanger and the frame tubes welded in place with the IFS still intact so that it could be driven around in the meantime. So right now we're on the teardown stage, pretty much cutting everything out that we don't need anymore. Check it out, the IFS is now on the ground. Now it's time to get really crafty with the grinder, buck off all the remaining brackets, and then we get to hang the solid axle stuff. So we got lucky and Dylan swung by with the service truck and it happened to have an acetylene torch in it. And that really helped speed up things here because uh, this side is now all grinded down and ready for at least spring to be put in. Alright, we've been working all day and all night and this thing is officially a solid axle truck. Hey guys, just interrupting the video real quick to remind you to smash that like button. And hey, if you don't mind subscribing, I upload weekly Toyota building, wheeling, off-roading content. And uh, hey, let's get back to that solid axle swap. The most time-consuming part of doing the solid axle swap, by far, is the grinding. Mike's been at this again for another probably two, three hours today and he's still got more grinding to do, but we're close. With all the grinding finally complete, it's time to move on to final axle assembly. All right, so third day in, and the solid axle swap is pretty dang close to completion. We've tacked up the shock hoops and the bump stops. Now my welder isn't quite good enough to burn those on, so Mike's gonna take the truck elsewhere to get those welded on. In the meantime, we just replaced the radiator and the thermostat, and now it's about time to put this thing back on its wheels. Alright, so now to make the rear match the solid axle swap, we've installed these four inch blocks in the rear. Now, these blocks are the ones I originally used when I did my solid axle swap and then were later used in uh, Corey's blue truck and uh, now have found their way into this truck. Now that I pull back the We've been crazy busy working on this solid axle swap over the past few days. And as you can tell, it is pretty much done. All that really remains is finishing up the welding on the parts that we tacked up. Also, installing the shocks and making a squared tube front drive shaft. In this video, we use Trail Gear's 3-inch IFS eliminator kit to do the solid axle swap. It comes with pretty much everything you need to do the solid axle swap. And uh, yeah, that pretty much wraps up this video. 
Remember guys, if you like this stuff, please remember to give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you next week. Peace.